Hi there, once again your wisdom mentor is back again. My name is Edwin Ajay all the way from J Town City. God bless you. And we're talking about <coughs> spiritual journey part three. Come and say with me. Spiritual journey part three. Come and say with me one more time. Spiritual journey part three. So what is spiritual journey? Spiritual journey is an intimate quest to deepen your insight about life and about God. So if you want to know more about life, you want to know more about God, then you are on a spiritual quest. And that is a spiritual journey. Spiritual journey is also a progression to grow in understanding about God, about the world, and about your life. So if you are on a progression or you want to go on a progression to know about God, to know about life and to know about the world, then that is spiritual journey. My question to you today is that are you on a spiritual journey or are you stagnant just looking? And we talked about many things from chapter, I mean, uh, part one and then part two. In this part three, what we're going to be talking about is methods of taking spiritual journey. What are the methods that you can use to take spiritual journey? Number one, you read sacred books like scripture and other spiritual materials. If you want to go on a spiritual journey, know that there have been men that have lived before you. And know that men have written things that are beyond your imagination. So you must get those books. You must get scripture. Read about the story of how men and warriors and princes in scripture overcame. If you find the way they overcame, do you know that you too will overcome in life? Many of us get discouraged and as you get discouraged, you don't read of other people that have gone ahead of you. Before you were born, many generations have lived. Many, many, many generations have gone forward. And let me tell you, after you, there will be more generations. So my, what I'm telling you is that you must get materials concerning those people. Those just men are the people that make your life complete. Your life is never complete until you get to read those people. You get to know them and you get to, to, to practice what they have taught you. Number two. Consult public services that focus on spirituality. E.g., you must have a mentor. You must have a, a, a good prophet, a good pastor. So you must consult public services that focus on your spirituality. Now look at on the ark. We are always willing and ready that you will go fast spiritually. We are always willing and ready that you must make it in life we are willing and ready the question is that are you willing and ready to make it in life number three read and listen to popular spiritual sources let me tell you there are popular spiritual sources that you must read and listen to continuously if you want to grow spiritually or if you want your quest and your journey to be successful there are sources spiritual sources you must listen to there are spiritual places you must go to there are spiritual sources you must connect to if you want to go far in life number four don't be afraid to use community support example fellowship you must have friends you must go for prophetic meetings you must go for anointed services see those things are community services. Many of us are dry because you hang only alone. You are an isolated pillar. You have remained 
um, where you are because you will not relate with anybody. You do not relate with friends. You do not relate with fellowship members. You don't have nothing. You don't have people around you. And that is why your life has been going haywire. So you need to correct that funny feeling, what you have been feeling. I mean, the life you have been living if you want your spiritual journey to be successful this is your wisdom mentor my name is edwin aj god bless you so if you want to take your spiritual journey seriously you must read sacred books consult public services read and listen to popular spiritual sources and then don't be afraid to use community support once again my name is edwin aj all the way from j town city saying that you must take your spiritual journey seriously. God loves you and he wants to take it to your next level. So watch out for spiritual journey part four. God bless you.